Greetings, everyone. JJ here from SchoolTrade.com with your term and quiz of the day. It's April 19th, 2010, and here's how the quiz works. At the end of this video, guys, there'll be a quiz. Not a, not a very difficult quiz, right? You can also rewind the video and see it again. But there'll be a quiz at the end of this video. If you know the answer, and you should, because we're going to tell you the answer in the quiz, all you have to do to answer the quiz is click the link below the video. That will take you to our blog, and the first five correct answers to post the full correct answer on our blog. Got to post on our blog, guys, and it's going to be the correct answer. The complete correct answer, the first five, will qualify for free beginner's courses, flat screen monitors, optical mouse, even up to 20% off the advanced course. That's a $700 value. Guys, the rules are posted in the description of the video as well. And if you want any information about how you can, of course, participate in the raffle or participate in the quizzes or about our lifetime membership, sales at schooltrade.com, and they're standing by to help. All right, guys, term of the day today is trader's tax. Now, of course, it's, it's tax season right now, so I wanted to make sure I gave you guys all you procrastinators out there, or maybe you were good and you filed your extension, and now you're having a, a luxurious time, right, sitting back and filing your returns. Well, the term of the day today is trader's tax. Now, trader's tax, there are lots of options for traders, right? Income tax on futures traders, there are lots of options. So today's term of the day is trader tax. Okay, now, there are lots of options when it comes to traders. Okay, different ways you guys can trade, and of course, different ways you can earn income as a trader. So let's talk more about the income tax on futures. Okay, so we already know, you can be trading stocks, options, Forex, or futures, right? Even, even There are more options as well. Now, stocks and Forex are traded as securities. Futures has a significant advantage over stocks, Forex, options, because it's classified as a commodity, which means it's taxed at a lower percentage rate. Now, I want to remind you guys, first of all, I am not a licensed tax preparer, okay? I'm not licensed by the, uh, by, the, by, by the U.S. IRS, so make sure you guys talk to somebody who you trust who has a license, okay? Don't take it from me, but contact a licensed tax preparer for more information about this stuff. But, but you guys should know, obviously, there are two main categories for income as traders, securities income and commodities income. I'm going to show you guys just why we love being futures traders here, because there's a huge advantage for trading commodities. Now, let's first look at securities, Forex and stocks. Now, capital gains or capital losses are going to be reported on a Schedule D for capital gains or as ordinary gains or losses, which will be taxed at your regular income bracket by the IRS. Now, this may not sound that bad, but look at the other option here for trading commodities or futures contracts. Now, in this situation, capital gains or losses are reported on a 6781, which qualifies these for a tax split which means 60% of my income will be taxed at the long-term rate of 15%, and 40% of my income will be taxed at my ordinary short-term rate of up to 35%. So, what does this mean? This means, again, that securities, 100% of my, of my income will be taxed as capital gains, right? Capital gains being 35%. Right? Well, we don't want to be taxed 100% of it. We like the 60-40 split for commodities, which says that not 100%, only 40% are going to be taxed right, at your, at your short-term capital gains. And then 60%, the majority, are taxed at long-term, which is 15%. Okay? So anybody who wants to save money on how much you're going to cut to the IRS at the end of the year, choosing to trade futures may just be the best decision you've ever made. Okay, let's, take, let's take a look at an example here. Let's say in year 2010, you earn $100,000. Now, in stocks and Forex, or earning money as a securities income, okay, you're going to pay $35,000. Okay, because 100% of that $100,000 is taxed at 35% income, right? Capital gains taxes. Now, as a futures income, I have that $100,000 now applied to a 60-40 split. So 60% of it, right, the majority of it is, is of course, taxed at a long-term rate of 15%. And then the other 40%, which is $40,000, is taxed at your short-term caps rate. So we only have 35% of our income taxed at that 35% level. As a stock or a Forex trader, you're going to get hit for all 100% of that. So as you can see, I'm going to cut a check as a stock trader or a Forex trader for $35,000. At the end of the year, as a futures trader, I'm going to cut a check for $23,000, which means I'm going to save $12,000 by simply earning my money 
trading crude futures right instead of cash crude or trading the euro futures instead of trading the euro dollar forex pair right very simple all right guys so you can see here there's a definite advantage for trading futures all right quiz time quiz time now traders of futures contracts they get a 60 40 tax advantage okay over stocks and forex because of why why do futures contract traders get a 60 40 split tax advantage over stocks and forex is it because of contract expiration on futures is it because futures contracts are classified as commodities with the IRS or is it because we earn futures income in the future or in advance all right guys so we all know futures traders earn much more tax efficient income because we have a 60 40 split now why do we have that 60 40 split over stocks forex or other right fill in the blank is it because we have contract expiration of futures is it because futures contracts are classified as commodities with the IRS or is it because we earn futures income in the future which one is it do you know the answer? If you know the answer, I need the complete correct answer, guys. And if you're the first five that get on our blog, guys, you'll qualify for free beginners courses, 20% off the advanced course. And don't forget, it's as easy as posting your answer at the end of this quiz. If you guys want more information, sales at schooltrade.com. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow, 7.45 a.m. We open live trade room. Good luck on the quiz. Good luck on the raffle. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Don't miss a tick. Bye-bye for now.